We are going to take the art of singing and what is worship by our brother. He's a minister of God and he's a, a friend of the house. So join us together as a welcome to the video, person of Minister John Goffrey. They always want me to sound well, so that you know somebody will not come and um, key your ministry for you. Uh, my brother, yes. Okay. Um, oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I know we. Uh, from what I got, information I got, I said we started uh, since Thursday, and. Um, I really don't like where we are sitting on, to be frank. I'm sure all of us with a sing, Abby. Yes. You get any preacher for you? Yes. All of us, they sing, Abby. Yes. From where we come from, eh, you cannot be singing and you are seated anyhow. Soprano will sit somehow. Autos, as Sharia, they take to him. Auto goes down here, Soprano goes down here, Tenor goes down for me too. Now, like that, we they take to him. You know what I'm so if I go tell them I wanna just sing, Soprano will leave, Soprano will go sing, we'll hear them, wanna sing off, we will laugh, una, then I will say auto sing, auto sing, then sing off, we will laugh them too. Then I trust the brothers that they didn't go off. <laughs> you know God is a man, so I cannot go up many times. You know okay, so um I don't know if we can permit that. Soprano sing as just go to the right. If you are singing soprano, so that if we tell you may sing, we will not hear her together. When I all go to the right, all those to the left. Carry out things. Can I hear only soprano just sing one song? Before we start, we will add this say, na singers be these people, na soprano singers be this. Yes, so which song will sing now? Which song will sing now? Or you pay me so I don't know my song. Bro. The only one person know my song. That's embarrassing now. Okay? If I don't know my song. But I know my song. Okay, only soprano singer my here. You don't know. 
I'm sure the majority of us don't know. You just know you can sing. Okay, how did this start? How did this? What makes? Now, one spirit is from inside your belly, the drum. Get the episode to be here. It just, it just teaches. Why if you do? It comes up. You know how that comes up. But I'm sure every one of you can say, I'm a singer, I can sing. Okay, what's, how did that start? How did this start happening? This. How did this start happening? It's, do, do you think it's one spirit inside of you that is doing it? I'm sure. Just talk to Nobody say, I don't go love you. Do you, do you think it's one spirit? Maybe your second spirit is inside you, when they do that, until when they come out. Do you think that's how it happens? So how can, can somebody explain to me how this happened? You don't know? Sorry? I didn't get that. I suppose the way you were designed by God. I have one mic, yeah. Read that mic. Since if everybody, you know, does exactly what you've just done now, it's not going to come out the same way. So I suppose it is the way God designed it. Did I tell you to clap? <laughs> Did you tell, tell me you clap? That's not the question I asked. If this, this, how did that sound? That word sound, how did it come up? That's what they help us. Bros. <laughs> they said thunder for me. You can be made with the free flow of air, with the obstructing of the sea, free flow of sound, with the obstruction of the air. That's not English, no best. Okay. Like I'm trying to. Oh, I understand English, but I, didn't, I don't understand what you just said. Free flow of sound. Free flow of sound. With the obstruction of air. With the obstruction of air. Yeah? Okay, like... Then... The, there's air now obstructing. Okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. She tried, she tried. No, I didn't ask you to clap, please. Any other person? Wanna embarrass me now? Okay, let me hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sound is made through our vocal cords. When air passes the vocal cords, then the sound is out. Let me try, let me try. I'm gonna clap around. Okay, um, I think we need to understand how sound is made. What most of us does is sing. And you know, if you start understanding how sound is made, you start appreciating that sound. For example, if you know how you detail work, then pay you. If your work finish, then pay you. You will value the money. But if you don't know, say you just walk up, Ross slow, just give you like two million. If you did pass, if you define where you go lodge, like that cow. For how many will kill you? Just a, you just a waste of energy, you understand? Now, when you know how that is started, how that works, you value yourself and God. Okay, I'd like us to write this down. Write it down and understand what I'm saying, yeah? A quick one. First, with this lesson, he said, singing ought to be a natural process. Some people are born with voice which develop into instrument of beauty and power with little training. Others have vocal gifts with light dormant until they are shown how to use them. Good. So, um, I'll just go straight to the sound. Sound is produced by the vocal cords. The vocal cords are set in a lyrics. Lyrics is L-A-R-Y-N-X. They also call it Adam Apple. Now, from what I just explained now, it's a vocal cord are tiny two folds of skin attached attached on two others. 
Let me say it again. Vocal cords are tiny folds of skin. Tiny fold of skin. Now you see the whole of your system like this. Inside of yourself. Uh, if you do, uh, there's this vibration that comes through like. Uh, now those two tiny cord, tiny cord. If they hit together, they force the air out. Now your air is okay. Let me finish this explanation so that it doesn't matter. I just finish talk. I'm not going to explain them. Now, um, the vocal cords are tiny folds of skin attached onto the other side of the wine pipe. We can we can think of them as window shutters because when you breathe in and out, they open to allow passage of air. When you sing or prepare to sing, they close up, leaving little space between them. Do I need to repeat myself? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. From, from where we came from, we rushed things. The vocal cords are tiny folds of skin attached on other sides of the wine pipe. Now they have, if you have your phone, you Google wine pipe. They have this in your system. So your vocal cords is attached to it. Have you written that down? Okay, we can think of them as window shutters because when you breathe in and out, they open to allow passage of air. Because when you breathe in and out, like, they open to allow passage of air. When you sing or prepare to sing, they close up, leaving little space between them. You writing that down? Ah, you don't reach book now. All of them are all serious. Are we writing that down? Do I need to explain myself? Okay, good. I said this two pipe, tiny skin, is attached to your wine pipe. I wish some of you have this internet thing. You just Google it. As I'm saying it, too bad we're not using projector. As I'm saying it, you'll be seeing what it exactly it is. Now, once you breathe in, it opens up. Breathe in, it opens up. The air goes straight to your lung. Sometimes when they say breathe in before singing, is to help your lungs and also help it. So when you breathe in, breathe out, it opens up. When you prepare to sing or you sing, it closes up. Now when you sing, there is this it's like there's this um, like a vibration that forces the air, the sound. It's like a vibration, not like you just uh, and because you did it, and it still just come out. No, there is a vibration that forces it. It doesn't just happen. Sound doesn't just happen. If for any reason you don't have this, which of course is not possible, the difference between you using it as singer and the other person she is as talking is the other person cannot sustain uh, if you are not if not a good singer you won't be able to do that if you are not a singer you won't be able to do that like if I have some I don't know if some of these elders here when they sing again I tell them they're going to uh, maybe we count five seconds majority of us will not do it. Now how did that happen? Before I take in that thing, before I do, oh, I don't. Now with that space, it will allow the pressure pump out. Ha, it's in the baby shower. I just didn't understand the speech. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, now let's continue. Sound made by vocal cords on its own may amount to little or more than a squeak. The sound is amplified by the cavity, which is space around the nose and the mouth area. So before this thing now becomes uh, your nose and your mouth and your neck will now make it 
Uh, before it comes here, from here it's nothing. It's just like, like with, um, with the, um, what's the English I want to use now? With the pressure. Now the pressure will come here. Then my own mouth and my nose and my throat, no, my mouth and my nose will now make it sound what I want to sound. And, uh, 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 the same thing that is coming here is coming out. The same thing that is coming here is what comes here. But what makes the difference is first my pressure that I pull out from here and what I change with my mouth and my nose. I can start saying, do re mi do re It is what my nose and my mouth brings out that you hear. But from here, it's just the pressure that is forcing that wine pipe. Do you understand? No, if you don't understand, tell me you. No, this can't you see. You know, go understand. You don't say yes, sir, because everybody does say yes, sir. My dear sister and brother, help yourself. Okay, now, uh, I'll just do little of this and go straight to, I'm sure you guys have done Britain and Britain, Britain, we've done little of it. I'm just going to three things before I'm going to worship. Now, from what I'm explaining now, from this simple explanation, we can see that good singing is a function of the vocal cords, the throat, the mouth, positioning of your lips, tongue, soft palate, and of course, the mechanism of your breathing. This brother, Sha. Before the sound comes up, this thing makes the sound. What I just mentioned. The throat. Okay, let me see. Your throat, your mouth, the position of your lip, your tongue, and the soft palate. And of course, the mechanism of your breathing. This will come up from this, when will be from this one, eh? And I will reach that the voice. Do you understand me? What makes your sound is these three things. If I close my nose, eh? You see the sound will change. For example, ah, ah. Do you understand? If I close my mouth, the sound will not come up. Mm. Then I hold my throat. Do you understand? Ah, it's not a look, Misha. Yes. If I talk, I'm gonna respond so that I go. Uh -uh. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. I don't tell me you put extra. <laughs> okay. Now, since the mouth and the throat cavity as a act as a resonant. It follows the quality of the tone conditioned by the shape of the mouth. This in turn depends on the position of the lips, tongues, and soft palate. Um, let's just go straight to the next. I'm sure you guys understand all this. Um, I don't have to go more because of time. You guys understand all that you're saying. Yes, so, I understand, I understand. I like my mind. Okay. Now we have a uh, classification of voices. What? Jot this in. Jot it down. Jot it down. Bros, I know they tell you now. Don't be at the The voice we have was given to us by God, fully manufactured and handed over to us at birth. You all know that, yeah? As we grow to adulthood, the voice takes on a total characteristics. We can now diagnose the kind of voice we have and its range. First, voice training exercise and singing technique can only help us to make the best of whatever voice we have. It will not change our voice totally to sound like some other person. This is because no two your voice is healthy, your natural range, that is the amount of note or tone you sing is capable of, um, 
the amount of note or tone your voice is, is capable of singing, should be, F, should be, sorry in bracket, should be about two octave or little less. Um, help me hit first octave on C. No, the middle octave on C. C. Um, just the note. No. Hit the second octave, upper one. No. Now, if your voice is healthy, you should be able to do this too without stressing yourself. No! Not the first one. Voice singing embarrass me. No, 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 the first one you hit. Do. For example, I want to sing. Now hit the other octave. And I don't clap because they jealous me. All of them clap. What is? Is that a problem to just somebody or maybe somebody? All right. Um, this is about 13 or 14 octave. Of course, um, I can't explain this to you because you're not either a keyboardist or a bassist. How many of you knows? Maybe one you know music, know any instru instruments? Chai. Jesus. So, whoa, 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 let me get the brush, Daisy. You think your duty as singers is just to learn how to sing? Oh, no, no. You are supposed to have an idea. Nobody says you should want to play keyboard. If none of you know anything about keys or keyboard or guitar, anything about instrument, if I tell you what keys, what, what key is convenient for you, I'm sure. 90% of you wouldn't know. Yeah. As singers. Now they go for Mark, for, for back. F. Who is that to? Raise your hand, F9. Now see, what I said now, if I'm going to illustrate more on this, you need to learn at least. I'm not saying go and Sabi play keyboard, go and play like that, bros. No. You have an idea. The whole run scale. Full chord. All that. You need to know what it is, how it sounds. The more you know this, the more it's easier for you to also know music. So if I'm talking this, 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 this. The, you already know that this octave is. I say octave, it's just this lower octave. I say run scale. Okay. How many of you can run scale, major scale? Uh, okay, so let me hear you run major scale. On C. Let me on C. Alright, run major scale. See, hey, brother, brother, see. Now maybe when one person can start. And I'm just going to start saying, Oh, we know it now, let's sing it. They say, Run major scale. You can't know this if you don't know keyboard. Except your music director decide to help your life and teach you. Yeah, we, have min we have major scale, we have minor scale, we have uh, chromatic scale. But I'm not sure you need that one. The one you just need is just the major scale. So if you don't know what is scale, my dear sister and brother, you need to go at least, enter where you come before rehearsals, you see your keyboard is. If it means me, they, they come clean keyboard for them. This is one of the pride away, all these are our singers. I'm pride away. I'm a singer, he's just ordinary keyboard is. At this point, think of what you know get. Yes, sir. <laughs> You go and meet him, please. At least, let me have an idea. You jot, jot things down. I know that comedian now. I go meet him. Okay, this is 
do on C. This is C sharp. This is D. This is all the keys. C, C sharp, D. D sharp, E, F, F sharp. All those kind of things. You know what it be. It will play up for you. It will now run the scale for you. Do me and I'll tell you what the chord is. Do me, do me so, do me so. Um, that's full chord. If the more you know this, the easier music becomes for you. If you know this, if I didn't talk, some of you will talk. Get the idea. Some of you will get the idea when I talk. Like that. There's maybe one instrument or the other. But some of them are going to look me like this guy, a comedian, and he just did here. He's showing himself. But you need to. Every musician, every singer, needs to at least learn one. One. But excluding drum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking drum. Or conga. Because some of you now say, ah, he said I should go and learn instrument now. They don't conga there, that too. Thank you. Thank you. I think I've learned that. No, my dear sister. That's not what we're saying you should learn. <laughs> learn at least one. With doing that, it's easier. And it's also easier for your music director. Because the more you are very conversant with all these keys, if I tell you sing, let me hold that C again. And I say sing a song on this. Together. Because you have an idea, your ear already has told you, you are used to playing it, you are used to hearing it, you already know the key. You know what I'm saying? What song would you sing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. What song would you sing? So, brown singers, I said we'll be working together. What song do you sing? Just sing any song. Don't embarrass. You don't sing my song, don't worry. I know you don't know my song. Sing another song. Yay! Now, no, no song again. Jesus! Now, let's sing some for church. Anything I put it for front, then they drum. To put it for back, then be easy. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, okay, on the back up, baby. Okay, please, lead, lead singers. When I sing, then back up singers. Then go back up. Uh, please, can we sing? Because you, I told you to sing it. Some of you know, they tell them on a climb stage, go sing. And the brother hold that key. Hold that key again. Girl, sing, girl. Lift your hands, lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands. Change the key, find the key, find the key. The Lord, please, with this keyboard, this sky keyboard is missing. Lift the head, bow in. They won't keep on the step. <laughs> yeah, brother, I don't want, I don't want, and you don't go on best, don't play again, so why are you quiet? <laughs> now, this is why it's important. If you don't know it, you sing, you will carry off, they take cook soup. You will go house, carry off. Any two they off, how they use? Eba, off. My mom, off. I will see off. Off. But once you have an idea of at least one music, when you won't go off, your spirit will there. That spirit will inside you, when on Sabina music will there. Guy, guy, you won't go off, you won't go off. Now you will come stop by yourself. But they think you are here, they find the key. <laughs> you can't see the old scrunny sing. That it's not like it's a bad thing to do, but it's better than singing off. They'll find an key, you go sing on that off, and find an key. I say you carry off, they make your sing. Okay, so, um, 
I um, I just want to explain a little. I know my time is at the time manager. Um, check. Go on. Don't pass that to me, bro. Thirty minutes. Okay, now. Um, in learning the best use of your voice, we are going to concentrate on making the best use of the voice amplifier. That is resonance. We did say earlier that the sound made by the vocal cord is amplified by a certain cavity, which is the space. The space in the nose, the mouth, and the throat area, all, all notes in your voice contain resonance from all aspects. In this regard, we talk about upper resonator and lower resonator. Now, um, I don't think resonator resonates me now. It's not really... You understand what resonate is now? Like, not with the... Not with the... How, how to, which English have you used now? What if I break the hair? Now, as a singer, you have two parts of it. You have the upper one and the lower one. Let me explain to you how the upper one is and the lower one. The lower one is... Now, it works what? Just with my throat and my neck. The higher one is... Do you understand? Do you understand? Now, the, the reason why this is important is, for example, we are singing, let me hold this again. My brother, they go far. Then I gotta go. Where the lower and upper resonator works. You are singing and it's too low for you, or you are singing it all in and it's too high for you. For example, play on the high key. Okay, yeah, this, this one is a bit, no, it's not high enough. Go, go a bit, go like, what key is that? F. Go and um, D sharp, that's E flat. Now only yourself 
I know. So you are telling yourself the truth. Because the Bible said, he that will worship me will worship me in spirit and in truth. So you have told yourself the truth. I decided to just sing your normal octave. You now calm down. You don't carry those shadows shoulder pads that some of you are carrying. You now see that. Come down. You don't come down. You sit down there. Like this. So why it's important that you also know how to play the key before you go up the scene, you tell him, okay, help me hold uh, hold F. Like that brother always say F sharp, F9. Uh, help me hold F9. You go up there, he goes just hold the F for you. Then you now start forming onto as I be singing. But you're trying to avoid not singing or struggling while singing. It's not that you're doing it because when they say know your key, they're not telling you know your key to, to carry the key and go and open the door or go and take person's car. No. Know your key so that when you want to sing, you can now sing without any pressure, sing in spirit and be very real. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, and the last time I would ask for that, I don't understand, I'll keep quiet. I'll just be talking, you know as lecturers, they, lecturers they do now, they just they talk, they go, they talk, they go, they talk, they go. And I will shout, it's okay, it's okay, I'll keep talking. Alright. Um, soprano, of course, uh, the higher octave for soprano is on C. C, if you want to look, look at the two octaves, between C and C, on the two octaves, yeah. So we're going to run soprano and alto and tenor. Alto, uh, always on um, on E and below C well tenor no sorry auto is always um, from two octave downwards to G from G to C sorry now this is how it works I'll teach you guys one thing I'll teach you guys one thing and we're gonna do that and see how it's gonna sound for example let me hold C the high, high, higher tone, just one note. Please, soprano singer, stand up. <laughs> I think that. Yeah, but normal, our normal time, all the same. You know they use head voice, they had. Except say, maybe this music has to do something, something like that, and tell you, okay, use your head voice. Say, like, like present your be? Yeah. But if I see me to hit one note, let me. There's nothing wrong with it. You understand? A lot of that can come up from me. Just wait up. Yeah? Okay, can I move you that now? It's more vibrate. It's more they move their head. As my plenty sing now. They move as shout at me, their head will move like this. All the brothers are here. If I don't do our way, their head will stay. So when I sing out loud well, I'm going to see their head, their head going to move like a wave, going to push their head go like this. Do you understand? Well, help me hold that key again. I don't hear you. Oh, yeah. 
again, let's go, let's go. Next line. 
last line. I can cite the person from where I am. Yeah. Oh, my dear sister, Sorry. it's not by opening your mouth. It's by singing it well. So we're going to do it first and second line. Then, um, first and second line, we get to cram that one up, right? Then we we'll do first, second, third line, we we'll cram it well. Then first, second, third, fourth, like that. You understand? Yeah. Okay, first and second, one to go. Ah, 
point. You don't know how to breathe again. <laughs> you, you have no man needs to expand. It's um, it's this, it, you know, this, this kind of avocado pie. Eh? I don't have to explain that. You know balloon? Yeah. What balloon that you know? Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, bro. All this English you are speaking and discussing it. Bro, bro. Now, when you blow, bro, bro.
more of an animal. I say you do without taking air. And he say, do me re do re fa no. Do me re do re fa mi re mi sa fa mi fa la sa fa sa ti la do la. No 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to feel.
worshiper is a super level to deliver that message to yourself. You don't give out what you don't have. The reason why David was called a man after my heart is not because he just comes and just sing anything. As I was ah, today, the mood right now, I'm just saying, yeah. Hey, Kelly, oh, Tito, I don't know if you know this song. I don't know, I give one person one time. No, 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 I don't give person one time. And you just finish singing it. And in your mind, you're singing worship. No. If you don't have it, you can't give it. Once you have it, you be cautious of what you give. The reason why um, Cain and Abel, um, who killed each other? I don't call you Now what you define as worship is what you give. To somebody for what he has done or for what he has not done. He has done that thing, you worship him. He has not done that thing, you still worship him. Now, when you now bring out that limit, for example, you think of songs. So you just remember the lyrics of that song, it doesn't make any sense, you don't sing it. Because you want to give God the best. And look at the lyrics of, some of us who worship God with not even knowing the meaning of what we are singing. At some point, after you won't forget the last part of the song, you're going to do John chapter 4. John chapter 4. Verse 23. And it's sound, sound um, English student. Come on, read it out for us. When the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Come back again, come back again, come again. But the hour comes, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay, read the next verse, read the next verse. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay. I'm sure you understand that verse. Uh, you know, I'm not a preacher now, so you don't expect me to start saying, uh -huh. like for example, you just say, for the Father comment, and the Father comment, and then, and then that, child, I hope you don't expect me to do that. I just want you to understand what the Bible desire, what God desire from us as worshippers. The time, he said, has come. The time is not when, maybe as my son now, now I can't wait my son, he can't worship God, no. But he said the time is now, and he still said, he seek it. True worshippers are people that define what you say to God. Worshipping is like communion. For example, if you see your king, okay, we see that the Oba Obini, how about you call it? Now I see Oba Obini, just a pass. How do I take great time? English language. Now, if what what does that mean? Now, you know the good thing. Even even when the king is not doing right, you still say that in Abi. If you see a when they when they do bad thing, you see if they no born you and I make you see I make you no talk that thing. You feel it? Yes, yes. Based on tradition. All this my brothers, eh? People are not spiritual. <laughs> now, if your ordinary oba, sorry, you sound like he's ordinary to compare to God. Hey, he's ordinary. I know you are shouting here. Hey, like, how can I see your oba is ordinary? Sorry, sorry, to compare to God. Is ordinary. Yes. You now see the ordinary oba. You now see. I hope nobody's nobody that is close to your oba is here. 
Explain something. I've not seen this ordinary. Please, oh, good. Now, if the ordinary opera you see, okay, if your opera you now see, yeah, and you now say, love you, um, long, long, the king, just man like you, the healer, long, the king. I know they do mistake to that country. They do mistake. No, no, don't die. no if you do mistake, you won't die. You will come in the presence of God. You will come to sing any kind of song. Any kind of song. You won't be saying, you don't package that. As you don't say, even, even when you they sleep, you don't say, King, the back. Lord, Lord, leave the king. They don't born you when you do that mistake. But you can't come in the presence of God. You won't carry any kind of song. God God you just sing. Finish your work up for your mind. God has accepted your worship. The father. Think about it now. Think. Does it make any sense? He said, This is the time. The true worshippers are not those ones that will come and give God anything. When the Lord defines this, He said, It seeks people that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. In quotes. That's what he needs. In spirit. If you don't have these two characters, you are useless in the sight of God. What happened to the people that time? See me, I always want to do that. No, it no makes sense. Let me not come on. Let us put the money on my body. Money not finished. Okay, now they pay so much attention to their boys. And they forget who they are singing to. My pastor one time said that one lady came and she sang, she had so much music, oh, sing, sing. one old woman just came and she sang her own. Amazing sweet Just by, she didn't do any extra. I, she I don't know what she started singing. By the time she finished singing, everybody was on the floor crying. But the other person was like, and she ended up doing that. And she left the stage. Now the reason is because she didn't she she does not pay attention to the content. If you pay attention to what you sing, it's easy to concentrate to who you are singing it to. If I want to give you something, shall I concentrate on the gifts I want to give to you? But if I don't concentrate on that gift, that means I don't have anything to give to you. So what we do most times is just go there and not give God anything. So there are more to worship than you think. If you want to worship God, that voice where he gets, I give you. I, I, there's a place I said that before you were born, he said it. I know, I, I know everything about you. I give you. But I ain't no contact to me, you can't use that way and give you. Can't they take show and say, I get this. Imagine when your papa buy, buy new clothes for you. You can't walk up and go meet your papa. Pop say, I get this clothes. I get this clothes. Who buy and give you? And you come to the show. What do you go do? Hey, right, talk. Normal, normal. Papa, what do you go do? You collect and leave. You collect. If you collect and leave you, he go wash you on top of that thing. My own papa, he collect and finish. He get one care who gets. Put the four nine to like three. As you don't you get, if I come to show me, Abi, you collect the clothes first. On top of that, they get rid of commoda clothes. You go commoda can come give you. Better beating. So that tomorrow, if he give you something, if you see him, you go humble. But see, thank you, sir. You walk up past tomorrow, you say, thank you, sir. This is what we are supposed to be doing. But what we do is to show God that we have voice. And you climb here. Glory be to God. What are you doing now?
because you have gotten to a level where I can now sing, and okay, maybe I can sing one of my pastors. I can sing now, something will happen, my pastor will pray, something will happen. And now the dragging feet to my pastor. You can't be a worshiper. If you manage to get to that level, it will still drag you down. You must be willing to walk under a pastor and be faithful. When you walk under a pastor, when I mean walking under a pastor is, for example, your, your music director will talk, this one, you, any two they talk, as far as the music director is concerned, he is the pastor, he is the mouth, mouthpiece of the pastor. If he says, three o'clock, you are there at three o'clock. You can't be a worshiper because you manage sing way. You can't come church and talk this one. We really feel like no. Thirdly, a worshiper must be prayerful. Must have a prayerful lifestyle. A prayerful lifestyle. I can bet some of us, most of us, even as a choir, we barely pray. Our prayer is normal prayer before we start the other. Sister Nonye, we will pray for us. In Jesus' name. Do not respond. Is it my name I call? In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father yeah. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us here. We thank you as we come. Come and lead us. Take charge of everything we will do today. We pray for our busy director. Help him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every person, every demon that will come and scatter everything. That I can't remember one sister where he gave fight from with. Every, everybody that will come and cause anything, Lord, we bind that person in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not say amen. amen. Then you now start. That is not prayer. I, I'm sure Pastor would have explained to you how what prayer means. The worshiper must be, must have a prayerful lifestyle. I can sit with you and I'm not paying, I'm not getting what you are doing, or probably you come to lay complaint to me. In my spirit, I'll be praying, Lord, give me an inspiration or give me wisdom to be able to address what you are saying. It's not until I start saying, suka, 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 kata, 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 shanda, shanda, shanda. It's not until you do that. We can sit down and we are relating and I'm praying. You must, a worshiper must also have a discerning spirit. Most times, you want to go up to minister. You don't pray for hours, though. Most times you fast, but for some of us that fast. You don't pray for hours, though. You don't pray when you come. Before you come up, you see me, you see me bend your head down. Or probably you're talking to somebody and you're praying to God. Because who you're going to meet, or who you're going to minister true to, is God, not man. So if you don't make him feel like I need you to help me, then you are making God feel like I can do it without you. That's the importance of prayer. If you don't make him feel like you need him to help you, then you're making God feel like I don't need you, I can do it without. And can you do anything in the side? You can even do anything without God. You must be prayerful. Prayerful. I don't know if my time We all talk about that. That's our brother said. Okay. I just run all this down, they just jot things down, and I'm leaving. Um, a, a worshiper must have a listening ear. Don't be too quick to talk. Don't be too quick to talk. Pay attention. When you pay attention, while you're paying attention, ask God to help you. A worshiper must also be a team player. I also stretch that. You don't come because you sing worship and the drama is keyboard and all that. Or this one is just backing up your living. You now sit down and we're not in the same level. My dear sister, you need a backup singer. You need a instrumentalist. If they leave only you go sing. You will see that you will tire. Okay, like that, uh, sister, not success. What do you mean? Ah, she's talking. You will sing, 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 sing. You will tire. 
you will flop flop no you will sing 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 you will tire that, that's what you're gonna do if you don't work with them you should be willing to work when i mean work if they are not there show some consign come on time try and be involved in every department in everything they do that's a team that's a team player you must also have a servant heart. Servant heart. The worshiper must have a servant heart. You don't become ogre because you didn't handle mic. There's something I keep telling my music, my singers. That when you sing, when you handle this mic, if I don't know if you go to church for the first time, if you go to church for the first time, see person you handle mic, you will take the person like say 9B, maybe same level as pastor. Most people handle mic singing. There's so much respect you give to them. I don't know if you know that, you've noticed it. If I go to church, I see the handle mic. From that time, I never become a musician or singer. Eh? But I see people say, ah, they respect the person. Let's say, people under the person, they're like, oh, this person. Because it's, it's a privilege to be on that mic, to be with that mic. Now, once you're not on that mic, for some of you that don't have a sunny spirit, do not take that for granted. Just like Lucifer, do not start feeling like, because I have the mic with my pastor, the same mic with my pastor. I can talk A, I will talk B. I don't have that spirit to be a servant. What would I be serving? What, what, and all that. You can't be a worshiper living that way. Um, also, like I said during our, uh, our, musical, our music time, a worshiper must also have a musical skill. Try and know. Don't become a moon. Don't be like a sister get you. You don't have to Just be your climb. You see, you first sing off like three times before you now start singing well. Try and have, have an idea, have an idea of music. And also try and apply skills to your singing. Don't worry. Okay, how are you? Um, the most, the final D, the worshiper must pursue excellence. That's why I'm going to stop here. Excellent in the sense that you don't give God anything. After you finish rehearsing, say maybe you don't finish rehearsal, you try and do another rehearsal by yourself because you want to improve. If your choir is singing at this level and you feel it's not working out well, try and learn to try and improve every time. God is an excellent being, excellent spirit, and he needs us to also be excellent in everything we do. So worshiper must pursue excellent, like by fire, by force. You increase in every side, every way, and every how. Okay, I don't give time for question, no. but I shall understand someone understand that too. That too. So if you don't come understand, my dear sister, my brother, that God give you the revelation to understand because I'm not I'm not sure there's time for question and answer right now. Except you beg your boss. I think you beg me for one of my name by my mother. So, um, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, and finally, before I go, if before I come over here and I know Sabi my song, I know singer Sabi. I will sing for her. No, it's a singing day, pay for singing. And I will pay for singing, then I'll go sing. Who's collecting my from me now? Who knows? I mean, don't sing anything. That sister, that sister, what is her name? Give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Um, I know we are pressed for time, but if you have just one or two questions, we'll just take that. Okay, one. We are come now. Okay, that does it. Just come, just come. Thanks sir, for the class. I have a question and it's about the worship in spirit and in truth. I want to know in, in content, 
of the um, truth. Is it being sincere or is it in the world, worship in spirit and in truth, the content of that truth? Thanks, sir. Okay. Now, um, spirits, God did not use physical because he wants us to understand that what he needs to be from our heart. For example, let me give an example. When you are praying, you know, we are used to praying. You're looking somewhere. Oh Lord, oh Lord. And you are not paying attention. You are not praying no, to God. You are praying to yourself. Now, the prayer that He listens to is the one that you can sit down and you're praying in your spirit and you're talking genuinely. In your spirit, you're saying, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. He just said those three words, maybe like five words. And your prayer is answered. Serious. Now, the Bible said in spirit, it means you being real to yourself. You open your scripture, and your Bible is saying, you must honor thy Lord. You must honor God. Now, truthfully in your heart, you know you are not honoring God. And you now come on top of that stage. Inside your heart, you are now faking it. Come on, worship the Lord. He's here, he's here, he's here. Come on, worship him. He's here, he's doing wonderful things. My brother, now God tell you that one. Don't be God tell you that one. Being truthful is being real. This is me. I come up and I say, All the glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of my praise. Now I'm singing that thing because I've, I've looked into that lyrics. And what I'm singing on that lyrics is what the Lord has been to me. So you're telling yourself the truth. Not saying, be magnified, oh Lord. You are, what you define? I know what you define, oh. You are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can do. Oh Lord, what you define? You know what you define? And you're not paying attention to what you're singing. If you're going to say, Lord, be magnified, you have to define what you're saying, truthfully. Not by singing it and not doing it. Then you're not telling yourself the truth. I don't know if I, I, I answer your question. Thank you. Another question. My question is in a situation where you have, maybe you are leading little ones. And always, you are, all, you are always there maybe to do the worship and also the praise. And you are trying to groom them up. How do I go about it? When I don't Okay. How do you go about it? If you have, if I get you right, you have like little ones, younger ones, and years old. Now, from what I understand, all those ones, they look at you. Anything you do is what they want to do. Especially when you're mentoring them. And when it has to do with God, I advise you, don't think you can do it by yourself. You always go on your knee. Before you start anything you're going, you're praying, Lord, help me. Before you go up with them, you pray, Lord, help me. Before you do something, you pray, Lord, help me. Now, we're doing that, we're telling God to help you to win their spirit. If you think you can win it yourself, God will feel hard in their heart. I say, they do, they do, they're going to struggle, they're going to struggle. But the more you are praying that God should help you with them, the more it's easier. You might not even do anything, sir. They go, you catch up. Thank you. And I'm, and I'm